I. Oh, hold on. There we go. I had my I had the noise cancellation on. And so when I said hi, it was uh there was no bass to that. I sounded like I was 13 years old. Hi chat. Howdy howdy howdy. What's happening? What's happening? Um Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? Probably not. You uh probably spent the whole time thinking of mean shit to say about me, and I will cry. And I would if you if you bully me, I will cry. I'm not saying the other part of this joke. Um, hi, Chan. How's everyone doing? Uh, I got a couple things. We got kind of a quick news bulletin to shoot out on a couple things. And then uh, I did promise you three hours of Pikmin 4 gameplay. So I am going to try and make this as quick as possible. And get right into the Pikmin 4, um, because I don't I don't want to be streaming for seven hours. So let me give you a couple news updates. First thing first, Hark is a thing now in the chat. It's not showing up here on stream. And if you use Chatterino, it's it hasn't been showing up for me. But if you've just got normal Twitch chat with 7TV, um, if you say Omega LOL, LOL, Lamau, Keck W, um, any like laugh thing that I could think of within the uh, I I hit the daily limit, you can use that. If you say that in the chat, it'll show up on the normal Twitch chat as Hark. Um, there are a couple that are on my list to get to whenever Twitch allows me to, uh, or not Twitch, 7TV allows me to, I hit the daily upload, so I couldn't do like, ha, 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 plus two, um, there are a couple others I couldn't do, and the one you can't do, the one that you will just get the normal emote is, is lol, all uppercase L-U-L, will give you the Twitch basic emote, but everything else will read out as Hark. Um, and that's, uh, I don't, <laughs> you know what? That was funny to me a week ago. A week later, I, I don't know if I still find it funny, but I find it weird, and I like that just as much as finding something funny. So, um, that's the deal with that. What else is on the docket? Uh, I am working on getting... Tony shirt randomizer going. Uh, it's not there yet for a lot of reasons that um, if I don't want this to be an hour long intro, I'll go into later, but it's not there yet. There's some timing issues and shit that I'm trying to figure out. But if I, if, if let's put if in the situation, if I can get it all working, um, I'm going to open a discord text channel called Tony shirt submissions There'll be some criteria you do have to follow, but you'll be able to submit a shirt and I'll put it on Tony. And then when people redeem Tony, um, it'll pull them up with a random shirt. That's the plan. Still working on getting that together. Um, unfortunately, it's been a really last couple of days have been a lot of technical stream work. A lot of getting games to work and getting things for the stream to work. And um, barely any of it is going easy. But it's all getting done. So, um, speaking of, I guess I should talk about my, the streams for this week. I should get this out of the way. I didn't stream yesterday because I went and saw Godzilla Minus One. And I'll talk about that on the stream. Tonight, I am streaming. You know, I could still cancel the stream, you know? <laughs> uh, tomorrow, though, I do plan on streaming, but it won't be probably until closer to 6. Not after 6, because tomorrow uh, I am probably going to a, a nice dinner. Um, nice uh, holiday dinner. We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to that. And I probably won't be back until 6-ish. But we'll do... Uh, tonight we're doing Pikmin 4. It's a super slopper Pikmin 4 stream. 
Tomorrow, then, we'll do Mario Wonder. Thursday is Half-Life. Maybe finale on Half-Life. And then Friday is what I want to talk to you about. Friday. Uh, Friday. I'm... Would you rather know or would you rather it be a surprise? Because I got something good cooked up for the next couple Fridays. Incoming, I'm pretty tired. I'm going to sleep instead. Well, now I'm going to do that. If you're going to be an asshole about it, now I am going to do that. You just cost everyone the stream on Wednesday, Kirby. How do you feel? Everyone, it's his fault. You just made an enemy out of everyone in the chat. How does that how do you how do you feel? Good? Yeah. Okay. Um Friday then. All right, if you want to know Friday I um have a super modded version of the Sims 3 that has taken me longer than it should have to get working. Including, uh, literally today, finally got it running on my PC. I've had this thing running on my laptop for two weeks now. Something around that. A week, two weeks. Can't, could not get it to run on my PC. I got it running on my PC today. Literally right before this stream. Uh, and the way I have to do it is the equivalent of fucking... Hooking up another car and jumping the battery on this game. But it's working. It's going. It's modded. It's got every expansion. It's running really well. Which is surprising for The Sims 3. Because even the va vanilla default game kind of runs like shit. Or at least it used to. This thing is running smooth as butter. And because it is December, um, I figure we're going to make a nice little household of, of you know, Santa Claus, maybe some other characters, um, and, uh, you know, see where things go from there. I've got a couple things planned that I'm not going to tell you about for that, but that's the plan is Friday is the start of Simmas, um... And I'm very excited. I've been wanting to do... The Sims 2 and 3 are top 5 games for me. I love The Sims. And for one reason or another, have never really gotten to stream them the way that I want to stream them. I got it, though. It took me long enough. I got it. And I'm very excited for those streams. So Friday, Friday for sure is going to be a good one. Or it'll stink. But it should work. I even, um... Don't go, don't go spreading this around. Don't go telling people. But on the Secret Second channel, I did stream it for about, for about 15 minutes to make sure that I could stream it to make sure it all worked. There was a little 15-minute Sims 3 stream on the Secret Test channel. And it worked... So we're, I'm locking it in for Friday. Simmus is starting on Friday and it's going to be, it's going to be fucking crazy. It's going to be fucking nuts. <laughs> All right, now I'm over promising. It's going to be good though. Um, I'm very excited about that. So I actually tested for once. I test. Hold on. Hold on. I test. I just don't test when it's funnier not to. It's all in, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Thank you. <laughs> so anyways, that's the week. We got Pikmin, Mario, Half-Life, Sims. Uh, and... We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. For now, that sounds good enough for me. Um, sorry again about not streaming yesterday, but I did not, like I said, I didn't get out of the theater until like close to seven. And I don't think I would have done a good stream yesterday because Godzilla minus one wrecked me, kinda. Not 
even necessarily like I, I was weeping, but like I came home and just sat around. It was like, what a fucking good movie. What a good movie. Um, and I probably would not have done that great of a stream. So said I took the time to work on The Sims 3 and made little to no progress on it yesterday, but I did it today. So we're good. All right. I'm going to boot up Pikmin 4 because I promised you three hours of Pikmin 4. At least three hours. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Shut up. No Twilight Princess music. Shut up. Why is this the picture? Hold on. Why is this the picture? This was not the picture when I clicked on this video. Why is this the picture? Would he do that? Anyways, chat, how are you? How's everyone doing? I've watched two movies in the last week that i never seen because a girl told me I should. Hey, now next time try watching a movie because you want to see it. Try doing things not because a girl told you. No, okay. I tried. <laughs> This is my go-to playlist, is it? It, it showed up in my recommended, and I was like, yeah, I'll, hey, I'll put that on for the stream. The stream will enjoy that. Streamer, when picture can change in a video. Did I, did I do something? Did I piss you off or something? <laughs> Just immediately hostile today. Are we all right? Did I, did, did, do, do we get to talk about something here? Story. Day 56. Let's do it once in a while. Not really a playlist I listen to every week. Are you not, are you not waking up every day and putting that on and listen to it all day? No one hour intro, no one hour intro. I listen, uh the one hour intros, I gotta be real, nine times out of ten are my favorite parts of the stream. I love doing the one hour long intros, but I also know anything longer than the one hour intro, the stream lose I lose steam. I got about one hour of um just chatting in me before I like have to play a game or the stream falls apart. But if I need to cut them down, I can cut it down. You know what I mean? If I need to chop it, I can make it snappy. You can even talk about the GTA trailer. Wait, there's a GTA trailer? Wait, did the GTA 6 trailer come out? Did it come out? No shit, it did. Hold on. All right, fuck it. Fuck Pikmin for a second. Well, don't, but don't literally, but, uh. Shit, okay. Rated M. Oh, oh, sorry. A little loud. All right, fuck it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna watch the uh, live reaction to the GTA Six trailer. I didn't know this was out. I thought this was coming out like Thursday morning. Not much, but it looks great. All right, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's check it out. Hold on. Rated M for mature. Uncle Tony? You kidding me? Pulling a stunt like that on this street? It was just sitting there. What do you care? Look at you, a street punk. Snatching purses from old ladies. Christ, the was here to see this. 
Well, he ain't here. <laughs> him anyway. I got news for you, Joey. There's more than one way to shame your family. Whatever else he was, he was a good father, and he would have hated seeing you like this. <laughs> He'd be as pissed as me. I'm sorry, Tony. It's just... If you need money or something, you should have come to me. Go home. Quit acting like a delinquent, and maybe we can find something for you to do. No kidding? You do that? I go out the back way. Now. Forget the f***ing purse, you moron! Go! That was the trailer? That was the GTA 6 trailer? It looks good. I'll pre-order that shit. I'm in. Bottom. Looks pretty good. No, shoot. shut up. Looks good. Anyways. <laughs> Honestly. That. 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 It's fucking Sopranos game. Tra Let's just say the trailer right now. Right now. That was fucking garbage. Even Gandolfini says... It, 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 like, even Gandolfini comes across like fucking bored and uninteresting. That sucked. Uh, we're going to play that game on stream, though, uh, really soon. Anyways, I did see the GTA 6 trailer. Um, it looked like GTA 6. And, and I mean that in a good way. Um, it look it looked good. Look good. I'm my only thing with it. Well, uh, I got two things: pro and negative. Right? Pro. Uh, they used a Tom Petty song. I'm a I'm a Tom Petty head. I love Tom Petty. Uh, genuinely my favorite American songwriter. So that was dope. Um, okay. Now the bad part. Two bad parts. One, uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see how that game goes. Um, I've never so the only GTA game that I've ever finished the story on was five, and I did not think it was that great. I thought it was all right. I thought it was okay, but I didn't think it was amazing. And um. You know, it's all a satire of America, but America's in a spot right now where the satire doesn't really work because we're all fucking clowns. So, uh, I don't know. I'm interested to see how that goes. I'll also say GTA satire is very hit or miss. Um, and even in that trailer, there's a sign for, like, an antidepressant that says, like, cure emotions. What's the joke? Like, what are we, what are we satirizing? That antidepressants make you less um, emotional? I... They numb your your brain receptors. Like, yeah, but what's the, what's the joke? What's funny there? So I don't know. Um, but there's stuff there that's cool. Um, I like that they got them the Miami Jorker. They got the Florida Jorker. And if there's one place to do a modern American satire, Florida, I think, is the only place that it could really work. Um, Florida are like, like deep South. So, uh, that's my negative thought. Oh, and the other thing is that I did go, uh, when, when the trailer ended and I, I went and went coming 2025, I went next year. Oh, and then I, and then it set in and I was like, oh, oh, so I don't know, but. Um, uh, you know, that's a, they don't need to show me any more of that game. 
That's one of those games they didn't... I don't even need a trailer. Um, Just go, hey, here's when it's coming out. Hand over your money. I go, thank you. Yep. Because I'm a little... Uh, I'm a little rock star pay piggy. Um, Never again. Only GTA game I ever finished was 5. Doesn't mean I did not put a gagillion hours in GTA 4. Um, and Vice City in... I would say a bagillion. Which is less than a gagillion. In San Andreas. I've never played three, really. But um, Vice City, I dumped a ton of time into when I was a kid. Because, of course, it was 80s themed. And that was my whole shit when I was a kid. And then San Andreas, I recognize as probably the better game. But I never connected with it the way I did Vice City. But that's not true. I liked San Andreas a lot. It's just I would always get like, decently far in, and then hit some mission that I could not do, and then quit, and then start over, so, and, and so, in turn, I've, like, less, um, I don't know, nostalgia for it, I guess, and then fours, I love, I actually, at one point, I talked about streaming four, and uh, I realized that's probably a bad idea, because of the copywritten music, so, which, that's gonna be an interesting thing with six, We'll see how that goes with... There's going to be a streamer mode with that. But, like, also, part of the the charm of GTA for me is, is listening to the music. So... But I'm excited. Um, and let's, 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 let's all be real here. Let's talk about the, the ass physics. Impeccable. Thank you, Rockstar. They got the um the team that worked on the the horse's testicles in Red Dead Redemption Two to uh, work on the ass physics, and it re and you can tell they're really got the finer details down. Well, experiences the music, yeah, for sure. That's why I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna. Sh I think I'm gonna stream it. Um, I'm at least gonna do a stream or two of it. Of fucking around. Um, but I don't know. Because, yeah, the music is such an important part of GTA for me. I don't really want to sacrifice that. But you know what, guys? Maybe this whole DMCA thing will just be figured out. Uh, 2025, maybe they'll get this whole DMCA thing really squared away. And there just won't be any issues. And they'll bring back Twitch Sings. I wish I was streaming during the Twitch Sings times. Those would have been some good fucking streams. I mean, they would have been nightmares, but those would have been some good streams. So yeah, it, um, it looked good. It is funny, though, that it leaked. <laughs> I don't even know how it leaked, but it leaked, and then, then Rockstar was like, hey, fuck it, we'll just, it, it's out early. Can you imagine real life before the jiggle physics patch? N nightmare. Imagine living on, like, the prairie. And, and you don't even... There's not even jiggle physics. Oh, they can't get across. Oh, Jesus. And now they're all going to die. Boys! 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 All right, we're okay. No boys have died. I forgot that I kind of got to pay attention to Pikmin now. I can't just um, play this game on Ochi Tackle mode. And it's a damn shame. What's happening? Oh, they died. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Death. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of miss the good old days with Pikmin 4. 
I could just Ochi rush everything. Ochi rush my way through a whole stream. Just Ochi rushing and talking to chant. Good old days. Where are you guys going? Oh! I think if butts didn't jiggle in real life and thighs didn't do what thighs do. I think if butts... Oh, I'd be dead already. Oh, okay. I missed the second part of that message. <laughs> I was real confused there. Uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite jiggle, IRL jiggle physic is the jiggling of, um, a, uh, like a like a uh, like a cat's belly pouch you know what I mean you know when cats got that extra like fat belly and they just be swanging that when they walk that's pretty good you experience pussy crabs how about sucking phallic enemy <laughs> what Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Um, this game's too—it's this game's too scary now. No more. Thanks. No more. Thanks. Go back to easy mode. Thanks. There we go. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, I saw Godzilla minus one last night. You guys should see Godzilla minus one. That's. As of right now, that's that's my movie of the year. Do I need to watch Godzilla minus two first? Uh, your joke should have been, do I need to watch Godzilla Zero? Oh, no, I guess minus two, minus one, zero. Ah, you know what? You get different flavors. My joke was, uh, after I saw the movie, was, uh, okay, when's the sequel? When's Godzilla minus two? And that got laughs, so... Anyways, you should see Godzilla minus one. That movie was fucking fantastic. It did it did a thing Godzilla movies rarely do for me, which is um made me go, oh yeah, less Godzilla in this movie. More humans. Thanks. I uh I liked the human there's it's a human drama about like how uh Japan treated its its soldiers and its citizens during and after World War II and the um, the rebuilding of Japan post World War II so it's this really gripping character drama while fucking Godzilla's out here stomping around Tokyo City like a big playground um, and it was, it was really, really phenomenal. It was really great. I, I highly, highly recommend that movie. Even, even if you've never seen a Godzilla before, even if you've never c cared about a Godzilla before, um, it is a really great character piece and monster movie. Godzilla is terrifying as hell. I... Godzilla shows up and is like peering over villain or over buildings. He's got these little beady eyes and he's just looking down at people and it's genuinely scary. <laughs> it's genuinely like, oh, oh, what the fuck? Um, it was, it was seriously chat. It was great. It's, I saw a lot of movies this year 
I've still got a couple more to go. I still, I haven't seen Killers of the Flower Moon yet. But, um, that movie, Barbie was my movie of the year. This movie tops Barbie. Uh, this movie fucking rules. I mean, so did Barbie, but. So, yeah, I, I recommend it. I'm just surprised that, like, it was in, I thought it was, like, a really limited release, and it kind of is, but my local, uh, one of my local theaters was, was showing it. And so it was like, oh, fuck, I gotta go see that. Have you watched Oppenheimer yet? No, I haven't. Oppenheimer's also on my list. It's funny, though, um, everyone I know who's seen both Oppenheimer and Godzilla are like, it kind of makes an interesting double feature <laughs> to watch, like, movie about the guy who created the nuke and movie about the repercussions of nuclear warfare. Um... And then I've heard pe I legitimately, I, I have friends who were like, who saw both of them and were like, loved Oppenheimer. And were like, Godzilla is a better movie than Oppenheimer. Godzilla minus one is a better movie of, than Oppenheimer. It does a better job of going, hey, nuclear warfare is bad than Oppenheimer. And I think that's interesting. I got to see Oppenheimer. But I also think that's being said like mostly as a joke. Uh, because like they're very different movies, right? One's one's a biopic, and the other one is a is a really great monster movie. But um, yeah, Oppenheimer's still on my list. Killers of the Flower Moon, The Killer. Uh, what else did I need to see? Uh, the Holdovers. I think that's it. I think every other movie I wanted to see this year, I've seen. For better or for fucking worse. I, I, uh, I don't know. Watching the Mario movie in theaters, I, I the Mario movie is, the, is my least favorite movie of the year. God damn, did I hate that. Hey, can OG, um, crawl through mud? What the fuck just happened? Yeah, I, um, I highly, I highly, highly, highly recommend Godzilla Minus One. Can, I cannot recommend that movie enough. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, do I just need... I just need 30 Ice Pikmin? Okay. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Um, Ochi, go ahead and eat that. Let's see you guys with me. Okay, Ochi can't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ochi. Uh, Ochi Appreciation Day is over. I get to be mean to Ochi again if I want to. <laughs> but I don't want to. doing on Garbo. Here's some Garbo. Go right here. One thing, one big thing to remember about Oppenheimer, it's marketed a lot about around the bomb because an actual bomb was detonated, but the story is about Oppenheimer. Uh, bomb and stiff part, but it's about the repercussions open iron has to deal with and the mental toll it takes on him for sure I 
I get that. Like I said, uh, whenever people are saying, like, Godzilla Minus One is a better movie about nuclear war or uh, nuclear weapons than Oppenheimer, I think people are mostly joking. But also, like, Godzilla Minus One's really good, so. <laughs> One big thing to remember about Oppenheimer is they made a song about it, Oppenheimer style. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to no-sell that joke because I made that joke months ago. Everyone made that joke months ago. You're months late to that joke. Let's get some new material, guys. Come on. Um, go ahead. Uh, um, we'll, let's do, we're going to do some new material tonight. We're going to do... Uh, we're going to do some jokes about... Um, the Avatar game. Do you guys know the Avatar game comes out like next week? Is it next or in like two weeks? Um, I, I, I haven't seen a single trailer for that game. Ubisoft is like, isn't that an Ubisoft game? Was the, maybe the original Avatar game was it? Ubisoft. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. It is Ubisoft? Okay. Uh, I think they're banking big on that one. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I haven't seen a shred of marketing. So that's interesting. I, I've not seen anyone, all of the little, uh, all the little gamers that I see every day post about, um, how Hogwarts Legacy deserved to be, uh, a game of the year contender, haven't even been fucking talking about this Avatar game. Like, it's really a, um, that thing, I, I think that thing's gonna make $7. In gross profit. Um. Because they are not marketing that thing at all. I kind of, honestly, I kind of hope the release date comes. And the game just doesn't show up. I think it'd be way funnier. For, for Ubi to just, like, forget to announce they delayed that game. Look at him go. Look at this little trooper. Look at him go. What a hero. What a man, what a man, what a mighty fine man. Lucas, Lu uh, Lucas, you got the uh, Avatar, Ubisoft Avatar game pre-ordered? Yeah, what'd you get? You got the collector's edition or you get the the version comes with the statue of Jake Sully or what's? Hell yeah, all right. I just can't believe the game is it out next week or is it in two weeks? When is what's the release date on that? Like this. <laughs> no, shut up. Ubisoft Avatar. Frontiers of Pandora. December seventh? Wait, it's out in two days? No fucking way. It's out in two days. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, that's <laughs> Oh, there are there are gonna be uh twitch drops. That's good. That's you know what? I'm gonna be watching some streamers. Gotta get my uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandoria Twitch drops. Tony Soprano jump scare. No, that was the GTA 6 trailer. 
Don't worry about it. We uh, we watched the GTA 6 trailer live on stream. Anyways. Hey, uh... Really sound like Tony? Uh... He, he might have been in it. I, you know, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the, um, the ass shaking. <laughs> So the the whenever I first saw the trailer, the first thing I thought of was like, oh man, like this is this is the RD this is the RDR2 engine. Uh but like a little bit upgraded. And then I was sitting there and I I just like a wave came over me of um Oh no. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, uh oh, I'm not going to be able to look this game up on Twitter, am I? <laughs> Give it three months from launch and um, uh, 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 source filmmaker heads are going to be going nuts. They've done that. <laughs> Rewatched it 20 times. Do you watch it for the trailer or for the ass shaking? <laughs> yup, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, wait, do I? Sorry, sorry, all gone. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze really loud. Yeah, there's like a normal sneeze feeling. And then there was like a, oh, I am going to scare everyone in this restaurant kind of sneeze feeling. And that's what that was. What was I saying? <laughs> I think I just sneezed my brain out. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be playing Avatar, uh, was it Pandora Frontier? Frontiers of Pandoria. Miss, I'm not gonna be playing Avatar Miss of Pandaria. You're not? I'm sorry, I'm not. What the hell? Dude, I subbed for this! <laughs> Coverage. Hello? Sorry. Are you still afraid of someone clipping you sneezing? Um, I wouldn't say scared as much as it's um justified paranoia. Please enable drops. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You're gonna have to go somewhere else if you want to your avatar Missa Pandaria drops. I've Harry Potter drops because of this fuck. Yeah, you remember? Oh my god, that that ruled. I did that entire charity stream where I just uh, talked shit about fucking J.K. Rowling and all that, and but I put it in the Hogwarts Legacy category, and so it enabled Hogwarts Legacy drops. So everyone in chat was getting these fucking Harry Potter drops. That was a good time. We raised we raised good money. That was a good time. Is that this year? Oh, yeah, I guess it was because Hogwarts Legacy came out this year. Damn, that feels... That feels a lifetime ago. When was that? Like, March? I mean, I keep thinking about... I keep thinking about um, Dead Space Remake. And it's like, Dead Space Remake was this year. That stream feels like two years ago. I, I I can't believe that that was this year.
We need more white Pikmin. <laughs> we are dangerously low. Uh, what in Lucifer's ball sack could you get from a Twitch drop for Hogwarts Legacy? Uh, I think that's what you got. I think you get Lucifer's ball sack. I think that's like a cool item you get. You can, um, you affix that to your wand. Um, like truck nuts. <laughs> Uh, let's go here. You know what? Let's do a Dandori. We didn't do a Dandori last time. Let's get a Dandori in. Is this a Dandori? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a Dandori. Please stream Hogwarts Legacy. No. No. Um. I would say 95% because of the transphobia shit. And 5% because it it's a fucking boring ass game. It is a it is a fucking slop game. You just say LGBT people are exposing children to sex and then put truck nuts on their car. Oh, it's man, it's so much worse than that too. I mean, it's a, it's a situation of um, projecting is is the main thing. Um, uh, I mean, let's let's just let's just be real. Let's just be real. Catholic Church. Thank you. We'll leave it at that. I don't know if I need to go into it more than that, but it's um, you know, it's a situation of of. Uh, Really shitty people. And um, if their uh, bigotry wasn't enough to make them shitty people, um, their uh, 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 other activities uh, uh, really help along their image. Is there a commandment against placing truck nuts on your Ford? Is that in the Bible? Um... No, I think that's. I think in the Bible it says you should put truck nuts on your Ford. I think that's um, uh, Leviticus. Uh, I think that's John three sixteen. Uh, and he he shout. Uh, he who hath drive their Ford without truck nuts. Is he? Who is a little pussy? We're saying this. Uh, hold on. We're saying this like these people read the Bible. These people don't read the Bible. They they uh they claim to preach the Bible, but they don't read the Bible. Let's be real. Find gonads of plastic. <laughs> thine, thine truck nut shall hangeth. Godspeed. That's what. The, that's how the Bible ends. Why did Why did Jesus say that? <laughs> Uh, I am going to fuck this up, by the way. Just adds up. I'm going to fuck this up. You dumbasses. Taste not the forbidden fruit. Uh, ask not, not what your truck... What you... Ask not what your truck nuts can do for you. Ask what you can do for your truck nuts.
Oh. Alright, don't handle that. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna scope out the situation over here. Great. Ochi, eat that. Oh, I um I need poison Pikmin, huh? Whoops. Okay. New situation. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ochi, come here. Ochi, help. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got 28. I got 28 inactive Pikmin. Okay. All right. Ochi. Command. Ochi, go. Back to base. Bring me the Pikmin, Ochi. No, 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 little boy, little boy! Okay, we're right, we're right. Little man's all right. Okay. Okay, come here. All right, go, little man. Little man, the job's on you, little man. Fellas, welcome to the party. Nice to see ya. Okay. Um, Ochi, eat this. You five over here. The rest of you over here. You guys over here. We're doing okay. We're doing all right doing too bad once Ochi gets back over there um, actually I'm gonna have to go with him hit the button hit the button Ochi which us. Oh, now the... Oh, I fucked over those guys. Whoops. What the hell are you doing, Ochi? Come here. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I criticizing Ochi? <laughs> uh, I think I fucked this one up pretty bad. I think I just goofed this hard. All right, we can recover. I'm not even a little worried. I'm a lot worried. Go white boys. Kill him, white boys. You're not going to hear me say this often. Thank you, white boys. Oh, shit. I don't have it. Oh, I do. You fucking idiot. Okay, um, these guys out with that, oh, I need, I need Ochi, I need Ochi, switch it, you guys, with me, please, white boys, where? I'm missing 10 Pikmin. Oh, because they're right there. Oh, she eat that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I like I like when Ochi's cheeks are big and puffy. Ochi, come here. Spit him out. Okay. Ochi, eat that. Did he cross? Okay, Ochi crossed. We got 20 seconds. Go, 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 We'll take it. We'll take a silver. We'll take a silver. Get it, getting that close to gold on the first try, I'll take it. Uh, did you unlock Peter Griffin yet? Nope. Uh, nope. You gotta be level 70 for that. I don't, um... I don't know what to tell you. Nope. I guess I need to, like, find one of those little Zoomer uh, custom maps where you get, like, 80,000 XP for just standing there. I guess I should do that. But I, I kind of wanted to, like, actually play the game and unlock it, but uh, I don't know. I spent, like, six hours on it on Sunday and got to, like, level eight and was just like, I don't think I've got time for this. I don't, I have a life. I can't, <laughs> I can't be grinding away the hours in Fortnite. I don't know. But I, I guess I'll keep trying. It's also the issue of like, I, I just, I played on Sunday and was like, yeah, that was all right. But Without the augment system, they made something so fucking fun with the augment system. Um, in having, like, the balloons and the hammer and doing all this crazy mobility shit with it. And then they, they got rid of that for weapon mods. And it's like, I don't give a shit about weapon mods. Um, instead of doing, like... New weapons and, and new ways of combat. It's just fucking weapon mods. And it's like, ah, that's like cool, I guess. But I'm so, I don't give a shit about that even a little bit. Um, So like, I, I played for a bit, but it was like, oh, the, the augments are gone. The weird weapons are gone. The grind rails are kind of gone. The big wheel to ride around on is gone. Like, it feels really stripped back and, and more focused on shoosting. And I'm just wholly uninterested in that. There's a train. Yeah, but the train... Dude, the train sucks. I went on that train. That train sucks. There's like two uh, uh, pieces of it that you can go on that has loot and there's some NPCs to shoot. You can't drive the train. You can't honk the horn on the train. You can't interact with the train uh, in any like interesting way. You can't say it's stripped back when they're releasing three games in the game this week. No, I, I, no, I can say it's stripped back. Uh, uh, when I, cause I'm talking about the, um, battle royale game mode. Um, just because they're putting in other game modes doesn't mean the one game mode is, uh, I can't, I'm not allowed to criticize the one game mode. Uh, th no, I, I can say that. Thank you. Uh, so I don't know. It's just, it's. I'm not interested in grinding like I was hoping I would be because they just they just took the game and put up no fun allowed signs. You know, like they just took away like a lot of the shit posty fun 
in the actual gameplay. And so I'm just like not that interested in playing it. Still going to. But the actual gameplay just feels um like I said, it more stripped back, more like basic. In a way that I don't it's more focused on shoosting and um I don't give a shit about that, you know? They took they I don't know. And it's always this way with like the first um the like first season of a chapter, I feel like usually feels more stripped back. But this one, I feel like more than I was there for season one of chapter four, and and I'm pretty sure that's what I'm talking about with the augment system. I'm pretty sure the augment system showed up with that. And that shit ruled that was so I know piss babies shit themselves because they were losing games because people were doing like OP stuff, but it was fun. It was fun. I, I don't know. And, and, and like in talking about uh, like because I've been thinking about this since Sunday, it really just like reaffirmed my thoughts on playing games, playing um, like PvP stuff of just like, oh, I don't think they make these for me <laughs> because I don't give a shit if I win or lose. I just want to try and do stupid shit and see what happens. But. Um, if they put stupid fun shit in the game, like the balloons and the augment system, um, piss babies shit themselves when they lose and complain about things on Twitter, and then the fun things get taken away. And that's how I feel about Fortnite right now. Of, Oh, they took away the fun things because it was unbalanced and OP. And that's fun. About making sure things are balanced totally makes sense for something like fighting games. But for um uh, I uh, for Fortnite, it's like I don't know, I don't, I don't care about winning in Fortnite. Um, I I just drive around in my car and try and run people over and get XP that way. I've never, I don't give a shit about winning in a game. Um, I don't need to win in a video game. I just need to have fun. And so uh, they 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 kind of stripped away some of the fun so that it was more balanced. And it's just, I'm just like checked out. I'm just, I try, I played like six hours and, you know, I'll play some more, but it is like, uh, I had more fun last time I played. I had way more fun the last couple times I played than now. I mean, there's a reason that I stopped. I didn't play for like almost a whole year. It's because they they removed that augment system or the balloons from the augment system, and um, and going back to it, it's like, oh yeah, I f I forgot. I don't. There was a point where this game was super fun, and now it's just back to being normal. And it's like, eh. Uh, the new UI is fine. I've, I've got no problem. It's like, I, I saw a lot of people getting, uh, really mad about a bunch of stuff with the new UI and I, I guess like the new movement system. And I, I just, I was like, I don't it looks it looks fine it looks fine it feels almost exactly the same it's a little different but it's not that different and the ui is fine you just scroll up and it's it looks like the old one I'm just, uh, like, constantly let down by Fortnite. I feel like I really, um, I really enjoyed the, the hype train and the meme. And then when I start playing the game again, 
like I said, it's just like, oh, there was a time where this was more fun than it is. Oh. And, like, I, it's not, it wasn't the fucking OG thing. There were people who were shitting their diapers and being like, yeah, make OG permanent! Stop! Make OG permanent! I would never play that game again if it was OG Fortnite the whole time. <laughs> that is the opposite of what I want from that game. And then, yeah, the, the Peter skin kind of sucks. And the Solid Snake skin kind of sucks. The design of the Ninja Turtles on that graffiti looks alright. So maybe they won't suck, but... I think Fortnite for a free game is like incredible, but um, at a certain point they stop putting things in it that interest me. Whenever I first started, I, I started playing that game in like chapter three and that's when it was like, yeah, the whole world is a party and that was great. There was so much weird shit to dick around with. And now it's like, yeah, if you want to do this weird shit, it's a different game mode. Do, go do that. Oh. Okay. No, I don't, I don't think I will, thanks. Now, here's the thing. I'm, when Rocket Racing drops later this week, I'm playing that. Right? Like, I'm, I'm going to check the fuck out of that. Because I... I well, I used to be a devout Rocket League player. I used to be a ranked Rocket League player. I feel like I don't talk about that on stream that much. I used to be a ranked Rocket League player, and I and I wasn't that bad. <laughs> wasn't that good. <laughs> uh, and I've never cared about playing ranked in anything, but I did it with Rocket League. I love. I used to love that game before Epic bought it. Um, so like. I'm gonna check out Rocket Racing, but like, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't see myself going that ham for it. But if it gives me an alternative than playing the fucking battle royale mode right now, then and I could still earn Solid Snake. Like I'll, maybe I'll play more of it, but. I don't know. Fortnite used to be really cool to me. Um, I, I say this as a 26-year-old man who didn't start playing until Chapter 3. But it used to be way cooler to me when it was... Um, that whole, like, world is a... Uh, the whole world is a party. And, like... Go to these roller coaster tracks and ride around on this ball... Like, that was just, like, weird and, and fun and cool. And I feel like they've gone back to, like, really basic-ass Fortnite. Uh, of, like, really quadrupling down on just the shoe sting. And that's probably really cool for people who really like that. But uh, I don't give a shit about that. I don't like that. I... Not that I don't like it. It's just, it's like, oh, shoot. Yeah, shooting. Woo! Woo! When they were doing such, like, interesting shit before, but now it's been sequestered off to other game modes, so. Whatever. Basically, top 10 reasons Fortnite stinks. Rocket racing stuff also unlocks that stuff in Rocket League. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Um, I, I'm, I'm never playing Rocket League again, though. <laughs> they ruined that game so hard.
Okay, are we done on this floor? Yeah. Don't understand the complaint. You could still do what you liked and play a mode that isn't... But I, but I can't do what I liked. They took out what I liked. There is no um, augments game mode. They took what out, out what I liked and then went, if you want um, things that aren't shooting, go play other game modes. And it's like, well, no, I wanted things that aren't shooting mixed with the shooting. I, I wanted vehicle upgrades in the shoot game. I wanted weird vehicle ball in the shoot game. I wanted grind rails in the shoot game. I wanted augments in the shoot game. Just shooting is not interesting to me. But shooting with weird stuff with it is. Um, but if you want things that aren't shooting, go play other game mode. And that's... No, I just don't think I will. Thanks. Thanks, I'll just go play a different game. Thank you. That make more sense? You know, it's like, it's, um, I talk about this every once in a while, but like, I, I loved Halo. I love playing multiplayer in Halo, um, even though I don't give a shit about shoosting, but I loved playing, playing multiplayer in Halo because there was more shit to do in Halo because the vehicles. And you had all these different vehicles that were all, like, weird and different and did different shit, and that was fun. And so, like, I could play with my friends who love shoosting. They love to be shoosting. While I could drive the car around and get a weird car and do weird shit with the car. And that's why Halo, I, I, like, I still think, is, like, the top shooter multiplayer is because, like, they they built these, like, weird fucking vehicles that were interesting to drive. There was stuff to do even if you didn't like shoesting. And Fortnite felt like an evolution of that, where there was vehicles and vehicle mods, and there was fishing, and there was all of this stuff. And, like, like fishing's still there. I don't think vehicle mods are still there. I haven't seen any vehicle mods. But they, like, stripped out all of the, like, weird stuff from the shoesting. And then are, like, kind of doubling down on the shoesting with this weapon mod stuff. And it's like, oh. Okay. Um, what do I do if I don't really like the shoesting? And the answer is play other game mode. And it's like, uh, no. No, I'll just I'll just go play a different game. Thank you. Good night. So that's all. That's my point. Uh, I'm still gonna play it. Like I I don't hate Fortnite or anything. I don't even dislike it. I just every time I play it, I just go like, oh, I had more fun a chapter ago. Um, as opposed to now. That's all. I'm, I'm probably going to still try and get Peter Griffin. Certainly when Solid Snake drops, and he's probably going to drop with a bunch of different Metal Gear Solid stuff. I will be checking that out. Because Fortnite's still a really... Um, it's a fun time. It's fun. And it's still fun enough. And again, my friends love shoesting. So, like, if my friends want to play a game, like, we'll... we'll Play Fortnite, we'll play the Schuster, but it's just become a little bit less interesting for me. 
Because, I, again, I just... I don't give a shit about winning in video games. Except for in Mario Kart. I care about winning in Mario Kart! That's all. How long until Fortnite copies Lethal Company? I bet there is a Lethal Company game mode right now. I bet some 14-year-old uh, skipped doing his algebra homework for the last week and has coded a Lethal Company ripoff in Fortnite. Remember when there was an Among Us game mode in Fortnite? Remember when they added that and it sucked? There was a, like, a fake Among Us. I should do a Fortnite stream because there's a lot of um, Roblox bootleg shit on F Fortnite. There is like super anime heroes 4v4 and it's like Monkey D. Luffy. It's like uh, that that wasn't even a skin in this game. Sponge House 1v1. What the fuck? Are you, what do you mean you got SpongeBob? Um, I, I feel like that would be a fun one stream. Of looking at fucked up bootleg Fortnite stuff. Looking up, looking at fucked up bootlegs that are in Fortnite. Would you eat floor sushi? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I would. Up on, boys. God. Speaking of lethal company. Now that's a game. That's a fucking game. I'd lick a public toilet for sushi. Then in parentheses, you wrote, really? Oh, my God. Dude, that's... You need help. That's fucked up. Uh, I gotta be honest. I don't think I would lick a public toilet for anything. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't think you could present me anything that would get me to do that. One million dollars? No. In this economy? No. <laughs> I could commit small business tax loan fraud get two million dollars and not have to lick a public toilet would you suck a dick for a million oh that one i would do for free <laughs> Everyone says no, but you know you would. I wouldn't, dude. I've uh, listen. I've cleaned my fair share of public toilets. Um, I know what goes on in there. I know what kind of diseases you can catch from that. I would not be doing that. For a million bucks, no. Ten million, maybe. A million bucks. If I got a million bucks right now, I, that would not even last me the year. <laughs> A million bucks wouldn't even cover the medical debt for all the diseases I would get for licking a public toilet seat. That one's that's that's true. If I if I got like super disease, super uh, crungus disease from licking a toilet seat, my medical debt would exceed a million dollars, hands down.
even with the decent insurance plan I have, it's over. 10 million, though? I could do 10 million. Well, mm, lick a public toilet seat. Are we talking top of the seat or under the seat? Krungus disease is rough. That's what killed my grandpa. Came down with a bad case of Krungus disease. My grandpa and my uncle, um, uh, uh, Snowshoe died from Krungus disease. Do it for like a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars to lick a public toilet seat. Yeah, I don't I don't need a grand that bad. My paycheck every two weeks is more than a grand. I don't um I don't need that. I can live without that. A million you could make a more compelling argument for, but even then. For me, minimum fifty million dollars. Minimum. May we can open the conversation at 50 million. 50 million, I'd be set for life. My family would be set for life. My friends would be set for life. And I still wouldn't pay my moderators. <laughs> Refuse a million dollars for that? A million dollars is nothing. A million dollars ain't shit. I could blow through a million dollars in a weekend. <laughs> 50 million be a little bit harder to. 50 million is the beginning of a good life. <laughs> I would let girls spit in my mouth for free. Brother, you are horny as shit. You you are horny as fuck. Uh, yeah, you would you lick the toilet seat for free because you 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 gone full horny sex pervert mode, dude. <laughs> I would let girls spit in my mouth for free. You're saying that like you. Like, you're a fucking martyr. You're saying that, like, I will carry this burden. We all know what's going on there. We all know you, you're not doing the... You're not doing this for selfless reasons. <laughs> if it were to benefit the people, I would eat ass. I would... Eat many ass unwashed if needed. It is my burden to carry. We all know what's going on. You're not slick. Ochi, what are you doing? My point is a million dollars is not a, a lot of money. A million dollars will change your life for a year. Fifty million dollars will change your life for fifty years, and I'm twenty-six, so that'll take me to seventy-six. <gasps> what? 
Whoa, Super Nintendo Mouse. A Puggies. <laughs> All right, chat. Uh, we're playing Mario Paint. We get that thing back to the ship. We're playing Mario Paint. I'm loading up the Fly Swatter game. Ready to work? Would you rather work a job where you earn one million dollars each year, or get fifteen million dollars immediately? Oh, one million each year for the amount of work that I do right now. Well, no, hold on. But I hate my job. Hold on. If I get the 15 a million or 15 million now. I'd take the 15 million because I could invest that. I could make that work. If it means not having to work my job. I would take the 15 million. I would take the 15 million and then uh, I'd finally uh, I'd finally stream um, type to learn three. <laughs> the stream Everyone in Chan has been waiting for type to learn three. <laughs> if I ever get to be a streamer full time, if streaming ever becomes my job, uh, first thing I'm streaming. Well, no, I've said this before. First thing I'm doing is not anything for three days i'm sleeping three days straight of sleeping then first stream back uh i'm i'm gonna uh grind for 24 in popeye 2021 i'm gonna speed grind the popeye speed run again until i hit 24 So if you want to see that happen, Chad, <laughs> guys, it is a new month. It is December. Uh, if you if you're a Prime Gaming sub, if you were previously, make sure you repop your Prime Gaming sub. You got to do it every month manually. It ain't automatic, unfortunately. And uh, that's all. I guess that's all. Deadline of that 80 hour project is this Friday. Oh, and how many hours into it are you? Give me 15 million and you'll have 100 subs a month. Okay, let me do that real quick. Let me just go ahead and forward my bank information. Yeah. Forgot to talk about. I got a bunch of shit from Fangamer. At the very start of the stream, you might have seen that I was wearing a Pizza Tower shirt. I got I got a ton of stuff delivered from Fan Gamer. Um, one of the things, actually, I don't. Them? You see them on the little chair? Look, there's a little Pepino and noise from the hit game Pizza Tower. I got yeah, I got a couple shirts. I got those. I got a Pizza Tower cup. Got a pizza tower poster. Um, and I got this new desk mat that I posted in the Discord. You saw the desk mat. Uh, the Roller Coaster Tycoon desk mat, which looks great, but also is causing me severe mental damage 
Because every time I look at her, I just go, I want to play Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm, I want to play Roller Coaster Tycoon. But um, Fan Gamer rules because you get the you always get a sticker from Fan Gamer and a little um, trading card. So I've been getting really lucky with these Fan Gamer stickers. Um, I got that one of Flowey from Undertale, which is like whatever. I I've never finished Undertale, but I I got um, a Banjo Kazooie one, and then today I got a Metal Gear Solid one. I was like, <laughs> um, and then the, the cards I've been getting, I got like a Psychonauts one and an Outer Wilds one. And then today I got this one and I'm like, I saw this. I'm like, I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what this is. This is one of them Undertales. I don't know what this is. It's an Undertale, right? No. It's a Delta rune. My bad. I thought it was one of them Undertale fellers. Yeah, um, I got I got a lot of stuff from Fan Gamer. Cool, cool shit. I'll show you I'll show you more in detail sometime. But the um, the Pepino and the Noise Plush are great. They look they look way better in person than they do in pictures. So. That's pretty cool. I want I would I would go nuts for for a Gustavo, for a Gus and Brick. I would go nuts for a Brick. I love Brick. That's my favorite Pizza Towerman. John Pizza Tower and his friend Brick. Okay, sorry about twenty, but I noted down sixty nine hours so far. <laughs> Well, hey, at least you're at least you're making some kind of progress on it, you know. Could be worse. You arrange the letters of Delta Room, it spells Dracula. Is that real? Is that true? I don't know why, chat, but all of a sudden, I just feel like, um, you ever been, like, shaken really hard? I feel like I just got shook really hard. I'm, like, like, dizzy. No, don't throw them on that guy. I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know what's happening. Come here. Oh, you fucker. Well, hey. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I think we lost some white Pikmin. Anyways, yeah, I, I'm like, I don't know what happened. I'm like disoriented right now. I might, uh, I might take a break here in a minute. Try and figure out what the fuck's going on. I only need 45% to get a passing grade because it's combined grade with some different ones. Oh! Oh, so you can, like, sub half-ass it. Well, that rules. You, 
can just 45% ass it. Horn. Jesus, uh, what is going on with me, Chad? I'm dying. <laughs> I really do feel like I feel like almost car sick. Like, I, I feel like I've got, like, um, yeah, like, car sickness kind of thing. I just, I just feel like shit. I just feel, like, dizzy and disoriented. I'm going to take a power nap real quick. Okay, zero and four viewers just showed up at my house. Oh, my God. Well, now I can't take a power nap. Okay, zero. Hey, thank you for the raid. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you you interrupted my power nap, but you know what? I I think I'll live. I think I'll live. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to um this uh, nightmare of a Pikmin Four uh, playthrough. <laughs> World's slowest Pikmin Four player, but uh, having a good time. Chad, don't tell them about the toilet licking. <laughs> no one here's licked any toilets. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that just made me sound way guiltier. Uh, I did not. I have not. Nor have I. Uh, I can't talk my way out of this one. <laughs> okay, Zero is now following. <laughs> okay. I Okay. All right. I'll tell you that this is uh, Scout's honor. This is the honest truth. We were talking about the hypothetical of would you lick a public toilet for a million dollars? And I said I wouldn't. That's all. That's all that happened. That's the honest truth. <laughs> so let me ask you, Chant. Would you guys lick a public toilet seat for a million dollars? You would? Okay. Hey, you know what? I can't judge you. For licking a public toilet for a million dollars. I can attend your funeral. <laughs> when you get super crungus disease. But, you know. <laughs> I just hope you spend your million wisely. That's all I can ask. Rather not. See, okay, we got one personal reason here. Good. <laughs> I said I wouldn't. I said that like million dollars wouldn't even cover the medical bill. Million dollars, I'd be out of that. Isn't even much money. I said the same exact thing. That would that would cover maybe a quarter of the medical bill. But, you know, f if we start talking 10, 15, 20 million, you know, maybe I pretend it's a big, uh, you know, big uh, donut with a bite out of it, you know? It's got the same shape. You know, maybe, maybe I, you know, the more, I would say once we start getting closer to $50 million, a public toilet seat for 50 mil? It's not, hey, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. <laughs> so this is how this Pikmin 4 playthrough's been going. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a little puppy. Is that the Nintendogs puppy? Kind of looks like it. I'd be a public toilet. Kirby, you'd be a public toilet seat for free. Don't. <laughs> 
We're good. Okay, we got everyone. I miss Nintendogs. Hey, I do too. I've been talking about on stream a couple times. Like, I kind of want to play Nintendogs on stream. But, like, I know that that wouldn't be, like, even that funny of a stream. It's just... I kind of just miss Nintendogs. Be, give me more money than I know what to do with. Then we talk. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that... Uh, listen. If... Would licking a public t s toilet seat ruin my life? Yeah. But with the years I've got left and with, you know, $50 million, I, you know, I could make it a couple good years. Double it, pass it on to the next person with a friend and go back and forth till you overflow the table. <laughs> Get one E plus $65 for licking it. Dude, free money exploit. Real. <laughs> Debt collectors love this guy. <laughs> Miss Wobble Dogs. Hey, Wobble Dogs was great. I did a couple streams of that and um, just created so many monstrosities. Uh, great game. Um, at one point, I made dogs that like... Their legs were so small they couldn't walk. And it was just like sad. It was just like, oh, God, I'm a monster. Oh, no, they can't even get to the food to eat it. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's a good game. Has it had any, like... I haven't played it in, like, maybe a year. Has it gotten any content updates or anything? In the last year, does anyone know? Because I would be down to go back to that game and do another stream. This looks like I'm going to fight someone. Uh-oh. Would you accept $1 billion from an unknown source? The catch is, is that you'll be on the news that investigated by the IRS for the rest of your life. What is the... To what length are they investigating me? Like, am I, like, gonna be... I'm not allowed to, like, fly anywhere? Am I, like, a flight risk? I'm not allowed to be on an airplane? Or is it just, like, they wiretap my phone? Because that's fine. They, um, let's be honest. They wiretap our phones already. Let's be honest. They've heard some shit. Because, <laughs> it, yeah, if it's just that, I'd take, I'd take the billion. Do I ever get to learn who the unknown source is? Oh, might have its own console now. Oh. oh, we're gonna run. We're just gonna go ahead and run. We're just gonna run real quick. <laughs> um, I don't remember how to fight these guys. Um, hold on. Gonna go with old reliable here. Hit him with the good old fashioned Ochi charge. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. That was half of my Pikmin. Oh, I can just go back to the starter level. Okay. I thought I had to restart the whole day and do that whole dungeon again. They'll be monitoring you both digitally and physically 24-7. There also raise huge red flags if you spend a lot at the same time. Oh. I could live with the monitoring. 
I don't I don't care. But not being able to s spend large amounts of money at once, I think would definitely be a downside cuz if I had a billion dollars, I mean first thing I'm doing we're like overthrowing a small government. Let's I mean <laughs> be the change you want to see in the world. <laughs> So, uh, you know, that that's going to cost a lot of money, but I'd have to spend it once. Uh, yeah, I guess I wouldn't take it then. <laughs> Buying nothing but guitars. You know, you. It, I feel like guitars. I feel like... It's a very unsuspicious thing to buy a ton of, right? Or maybe not. Maybe that is a very suspicious thing. I feel like if I was the FBI and I was like, okay, they just bought um they just bought fifty million dollars of guitars, I would just think like, hey, they really like guitars. Hey, they're rocking out. <laughs> I don't know if I would think about it on a deeper level than that. So, I feel like that's a pretty, like, unsuspicious thing to buy. <laughs> Just rocking it. See, yeah, and, and you could tell them that, tell them that in the court, and uh, the jury would believe you. The only guitar I ever owned, I owned an electric guitar that I found in the trash. Someone was throwing out an electric guitar, um, and I was like, uh, and it was this little, it was like a learner's guitar or something, because it was smaller, and um, it had like a built-in, um, what's the term? Um, like modifier it had a uh, it had a built-in uh, uh, fuckery thing and so you would put a 9 volt battery in it and then it had knobs on it you could you know mess with the knobs and it's no matter what you did it sounded like garbage it sounded it sounded like someone was playing the guitar through like a metal like tube it was so distorted sounding um, and it kind of ruled because of that, but I don't know how to play the guitar. So I gave it to my one friend who, uh, knows how to play the guitar and he still has it. He actually, um, used it for a house show he played in college, uh, because his normal guitar, his good sounding guitar broke the sh like all of the strings just at once in the middle of the show. So he got, he took my little garbage guitar out and played that. Maybe you were just bad at playing it. I mean, that's a given, because I don't know how. Sound like where it came from? That's no, that's true. Alright, I gotta I gotta kill this guy. Hold on. Chat, um, I'm gonna lock in on killing this guy. Uh don't nobody say um don't say poop or pee in the chat, okay? I'm not gonna be able to look at it to moderate it. So no poo poo and pee pee, thank you. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, that's fine. That's good. <laughs> What's he doing? What just happened? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Please. <laughs> My boys. <laughs> My fellas. <laughs> Start over, start over, start over, run it again, run it back, run it back, please, please run it back. <laughs> okay, this is the run. 
This time we're gonna get. Who said pee pee poo poo in the chat? Oh, you. I'm writing down names. I'm gonna be after this. I'm gonna be DMing um the uh, CEO of Twitch. You're done. You're done. Thank you. Put them on the hit list. They're gonna get. I'm gonna. Uh, who's the Who's the CEO of Twitch? Um, uh, Justin. Justin Television. He's gonna get an email, and I just lost everyone again. <laughs> Yeah, Justin Timber. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be DMing Justin Timberlake, and uh, yeah, he's he's saying um, you guys aren't gonna be bringing sexy back. Sorry. He said uh, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna uh, take your sexy away. Watch Southland Tales. Justin Timberlake and The Rock. That's a um, uh, movie. <laughs> Not my sexy. He's he's coming. He's coming and he's taking it. <laughs> just imagine him like just showing up at your door and you're like. Justin! Oh my god, it's Justin! And he just, just just standing there politely. I've come for your sexy. <laughs> just sucks it through his fingers. Have to know what happens if I choose nuclear detonation. I can't, um, I can't tell you what happens if you choose ne nuclear de detonation. All I can tell you is you'll have to live with that decision. You're going to have to live with the consequences of your actions. <laughs> All I can tell you... You will become... History's new greatest monster. The grind uh, is worth it if you like watching. Um, pain and suffering. <laughs> I'm making this sound cool <laughs> and that's not... <laughs> Guys, uh, hold on. Serious moment here, guys. Hi, my name is Funny Little Guy. Some of you know me as Mike. Some of you know me as Mikey. I'm here today to talk to you about nuclear warfare. If your parents tell you to launch a nuclear missile, don't do it. Uh, nukes are... Nuclear detonation is wrong. And now you know. Okay. <laughs> Just a little PSA. <laughs> and I don't ca I don't care if any of the other streamers, if any celebrities, if anyone out there disagrees. I'm I say nuclear warfare is bad, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to fight this. Okay, I'm locking in again. Hold on. This is going to be the run, chat. Watch this. Check this out. You're about to see some high-tier Dandori gameplay. Watch this. Go, run, run, go, run, go, 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 run. Okay, we did just lose nine people. <laughs> That's fine. Nine, we can lose nine. We can lose nine. Nine is fine. Death is okay if it rhymes.
I don't know who's dead and who's alive. Uh, I think I did it. Uh, I, I did it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> genuinely shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was gonna be the rest of the stream. I gotta be real with you. I thought this was gonna be uh, the next two hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, a candy cane! Hey, little Christmas come early. Oh my gosh! You love to see it. Would you cure world hunger but launch five nukes in completely random places? Uh, no, I don't think I would. I feel like five nukes is enough to, like, doom the entire world. I think launching five nukes cures world hunger. <laughs> Not Sar... Oh. Is it Sar Bomba? How big is... I don't... How large is a Sar Bomba? Waste, yummy. Mm. <laughs> just like a kid, just like a kindergartner, like eating paste, <laughs> just fucking nuclear, mm, mm, uh, nuclear waste, mm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Oh fuck. When's the last time I washed my hand? You guys ever suck on your fingers just for fun? <laughs> Just me, or...? <laughs> Are you crying your taste for human flesh? Well, you know, once the five nukes drop, uh, we might have to resolve to a little cannibalism. Like, just last week. Like, last week or two weeks ago. Didn't I do a whole stream? Didn't I have a whole part of a stream where I talked about eating human flesh? Like, didn't I have a whole hypothetical about, like, if you were offered a little morsel of human flesh, would you eat it? <laughs> I got cannibalism far too often. <laughs> I'm not into cannibalism. I'm just saying, if I was at like a fancy party with champagne, and, you know, black about black tie. If someone offered me a little, uh, you know, a little, said, "Hey, you know, here's a cracker with some meat on it," and would you? It's human meat. Would you like to take a little taste? <laughs> oh that's right that was the stream <laughs> where i kept going over this hypothetical just to get one person in chat to say that they would do it and then i called them a sick <laughs> that's right I, I yelled at lucas <laughs> just a, uh just a normal we like to have a normal time over here Good, good normal streamer. Good normal stream chat. Just we're just uh, we're just simple folk. We're just average simple folk. <laughs> All right, I'm putting OG in autopilot. <sighs> it was honest. That's true. You know. Um, I, I guess honesty is is counts for something. Did I have um Didn't did two guys come out of that hole? 
Isn't that how this works? Did I just completely miss that? No, okay, they didn't. I think that's just the Dandori's. Okay. I will go back here. Anyways. <laughs> I promise it isn't always like this. It's just 80% of the time like this. <laughs> Sometimes these streams are really relaxing and nice. The mud pit. It's usually worse. I can't even I can't even argue that. <laughs> so talk about great nuclear detonations. Uh, hey, no one, no one, hey, whoa, 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 no one here, no, I, no one here said nuclear detonation was great. Just, you know, it would make a cool, uh, stream thing. Oh, okay, you say nuclear detonations are great, okay. Well, <laughs> great for the environment, mm. Maybe if your favorite environment is, um, like Minecraft Flat World. <laughs> when a nuke goes boom, it makes me pog. <laughs> I think that's uh I think that's an Oppenheimer quote. I think he said that. <laughs> I have become poggers. <laughs> Emotor of worlds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. My boys. Did I lose seven boys already? How did I lose seven boys? Huh? There's one boy over there. Hey, come here. How did I lose seven boys? Whatever. Did Kojima say nukes are bad? I think that, uh, I think that, I don't think he would take a political stance like that. Kojima? I don't, mm. Yeah, that's, uh, Kojima just, uh, he's just wacky. He's just a quirky little, uh, little guy. <laughs> Anyways, my favorite movie is RoboCop. Kojima said nukes are epic and he loves treating soldiers like playthings. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. I think is, I think, uh, didn't Kojima say, um, war is so cool? I think that's, um, I think if you beat all the, if you beat Metal Gear Solid 2, on European extreme mode enough times. Um, I think he says that. You just get an FMV of just, <laughs> just him. War is cool. Thanks. Thanks for playing my game. Good night. <laughs> that, you know what? If that was true, 
That would get me to play European Extreme. <laughs> Cliff Blazinski was the deep anti-war guy. Yeah, definitely a deep thinker on those games. What's um what's Cliffy B up to right now? See um I don't even remember what the last thing he made was. Was it like uh did he make like APB? Working on a new Jazz Jagger, but dude, I would, I would be all right with that. That new Fortnite update, there's a little secret hidden room that has a Jazz Jackrabbit poster. And I like, I, I parked so hard. I blacked out, smashed my forehead on my desk, <laughs> woke up and went, I got a uh, Jazz Jackrabbit in Fortnite. How many V bucks, please? <laughs> I would be, I would pog if they put Jazz Jackrabbit in Fortnite. I would pog if, um, they just remembered Jazz Jackrabbit existed. I mean, I'm... God bless my little fellers. Cleaning up my little fellers. I can tell you what Cliff Blazinski did this decade other than fart on his wife. I, um, <laughs> I have questions <laughs> that I don't know if I want the answer to. Did that failed 80s battle royale? Uh, I don't even know if I... I don't think I know what you're talking about. I always get him and uh, David Jaffe confused. Failed multiplayer zero gravity shooter. I, I have no idea. Don't follow him on Twitter. You know what? I gotta say, I don't follow Cliff on uh, Cliff Cliffy B on Twitter.com. I'm not constantly hopping on Twitter to get a Cliffy update. I'm not subscribed to the Cliffy Daily Times. I gotta I gotta be honest with you. I don't. No, that was David Jaffe. Call them cliff notes. <laughs> Alright, that's the joke of the stream. Uh, we're not going to be able to top that one. <laughs> I feel bad killing this guy. This is just a guy hanging out. Lawbreakers. Okay, I do remember the name Lawbreakers. I don't, you know, I'm just going to let them do their thing. I feel like everyone, all my little Pikmins and Ochis... Uh, have a better idea of what to be doing right now than I do, so.
Is Hark working okay for you guys? Or, or I should say the Harks. Like I said, I don't have everything set up for it yet. Mostly. Okay. Yeah, and there's weird issues with, with I don't know, 7TV, like right when I was going to do this Hark stuff, 7TV was like, hey, we're majorly overhauling all of our servers. And it's caused me a ton of problems trying to get this together. Um, so... There's still a lot of, like, laughing things that I haven't put on yet because I hit the daily limit. And the daily limit has lasted, like, three days. So... Um, and then it's not showing up on Chatterino, and it's not showing up on screen. But it is showing up if you have 7TV installed and are just using basic Twitch chat. So... I'm hoping everything just works out with it. I have a bunch of like Hark tests that I've marked for deletion like six times and they just haven't deleted them. <laughs> like they're having major server issues. So please bear with us as I um, continue on this insane crusade. Of making all laughter in this chat harks. I mean, I said it at the start of the stream. I don't even find the hark thing that funny anymore. It's just weird to me. And I like that as much as I like something being funny. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the harks. <laughs> Where is this last treasure? I think it'll be funny to me if I can actually see it. Right now, I've got no way. I use Chatterino. The on-screen chat doesn't work. And then the Twitch mobile chat, I don't have 7TV installed. So I like I can't even see a Harkin right now. Uh, treasure. There we go. Um, excuse me. Don't say Hark isn't funny anymore. It's not that it's not funny. It's just it's... The idea of every laugh in chat being Hark. I, I, I hit a point uh, yesterday where I'm just like, why am I doing this? <laughs> like, it stopped being something that, like, is, is making me laugh a ton, the idea of it. But it is something that I'm deeply, I think is deeply weird. And that is equally as exciting to me. He said Hark was super unfunny and your jokes were super lame before you joined. Real. You weren't supposed to tell him that. Can no one keep a secret anymore? <laughs> Chad, do you ever have a diary? Or a journal? When I was a kid, and it was, I watched, when I was a kid, I watched, like, a ton of, like, girl-oriented media. Um, like, Lizzie McGuire was my shit. I was all about Lizzie McGuire and stuff. Anyways, because I watched so much, like, girl-focused media, I thought that, um, having my, I, I thought that, one, I would, I would start a diary. And two... My diary getting leaked would be the biggest drama in my life. I thought I thought I was going to run into all these like diary related drama problems. Nope. I have a journal, but I don't um I don't write in it every day or anything cuz it would be a uh, really boring. <laughs> every day would just be yeah, um I woke up and I was tired. I woke went to work and I was tired. Came home, did a stream. I said, come on the stream. Um, ate some dinner, and now I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. That would be every day in the journal. Oh, 
Oh, don't do that. Kill him. Kill him. I will only save your lives if you kill him. Kill him. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna die. Kill him. About a shadow journal to work on my inner self. I mean, hey, I think journaling is dope. I think journaling is so, like, I, I legitimately think it's great. I just, I'm, um, I just don't need, me personally, I don't need to write in it every day. I would not have enough to say. Please, please, I'm dead! I'm alive. They're dead, though. Oh, my God. They're dead, though. We're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, I didn't kill them. The mud killed them. That's different. Oh, oh, but now I did kill them. Now I've killed them. Oh, Jesus, my boys. Oh, fuck. My boys died to give us an advantage. God bless our troops. Bring our boys home. Anyways, journaling's cool. I think, um... Part of my problem with journaling, though, is I always... Because of this, like, thing in my brain when I was a kid that, like... Dude, you, uh, someone's gonna steal your diary! I have this thing where, um... I've gotten better at it recently, where I'm not doing it so much. But I used to write in this journal with, like, the mentality of, like... In 20 years, this will be one of the most important documents... I had this thought that, like, someday someone's going to find this and read this. And so I should only say, like, interesting and insightful things. Um, and that that isn't very true to life. Uh, but I, like I said, I've gotten better at that recently. Where um, I use it more to, like, just workshop ideas. Instead of, like, I need to write something real um i use it more to like work out thoughts specifically for bits on stream um if you were ever see my journal it's a lot of um i did that the the wall street heart monitor stream that was all worked out beforehand in a journal um, and then that stream kind of fell apart. So, <laughs> so, you know, whatever, <laughs> maybe the journal sucks. I don't know. <laughs> the problem with that stream is that I didn't do cocaine beforehand. Let's be real. I want to kill this thing. I hate this thing and I want it dead. Oh, Jesus. Oh, its head's gone. Godspeed. Godspeed, little feller. An American hero. Wait, what planet is Olimar from? I, um... Dandori Hero. Oh, right. Uh, Hokate. Hokatate?
Yeah. This, um, this, like, dungeon scares me. The mud makes this very, um, scary. <laughs> Cause I wanna, I, I, I know that like, yeah, okay, what you're supposed to, you're supposed to throw your Pikmin, but I'm not doing that. That's not how I play this game. I'm, I'm Ochi Russian. I don't care if everyone dies. I don't care if I lose everything. I'm Ochi Russian. Oh my God, my boys, my boys. I don't care if I'm uh, playing the game wrong to my own detriment. <laughs> I think Hokitate is supposed to rhyme with freight. Oh. That makes sense. What the hell is going on over there? Is that a Pikmin? Oh, yeah, it's all of my Pikmin. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Radochi! <laughs> Kick his ass, boys. Ochi to the rescue. Oh, no, we're right. We're right. We're, we're not all right. We're not all right. We're not all right. We're not all right. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. Everyone's fine. We're fine. Everyone's fine. We're fine. Everyone's good. Everyone's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everyone's fine. We're okay. Look at that. Mike, please cry on stream. Um, <laughs> I'd like, I'd like, w like, first of all, why? <laughs> Second of all, uh, like, cried like tears of joy or this is like a fetish thing. I don't understand. First a cry of laughter, then a cry of sadness. Um. I'll elaborate later. Or you can elaborate now. <laughs> I think, I think I'm, uh, 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 owed an explanation. If you want, if you want me to weep, um, I think I am uh, owed an explanation. Chad, give me one second though. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna take a quick pee break. I'm gonna be right back. Cry now! I gotta go prep for the crying. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. More Pikmin Four coming up in just a minute. Thank you. 
Attention Twitch chat, Mike is about to go pee. See that right there? I'm keeping it warm for him because in about 10 seconds, he's about to kick this door open and let her rip. While he's doing that, take a moment to subscribe to his channel. Catch up with a friend in the chat, but do not complain about his absence because Mike is taking a pee, which everyone on Twitch needs to do now and then. It's human, it's normal, but what's not normal is a cold toilet seat. I'm heating it up for him. Don't worry about it. I'm getting on it right now. He will be here in two seconds. You can be patient. Show some respect. He'll be back in just a moment. That's right, Twitch chat. You consider this an intermission. Take a moment, grab a snack, but come right back and keep your eyes glued on the screen because he pees fast and he'll pee with great speed and get back to you momentarily. Mike, it's warm, get in here. I'm telling him to hurry, I'm doing my best. Mike! Okay. I'm Sorry, Nintendo Switch. I'm back. I'm okay. I, I'm not, uh, remember when I said I was, uh, felt dizzy? I'm alright. I did some, uh, some, like, breathing shit. Check out this thing called air. Pretty cool. Did a little, did, did a little bit of air. What if, alright, I got a cool idea for a Seth Rogen movie. What if, what if, like, um... What if, like, they were in space and breathing air was, like, sm like smoking weed? So they're like, hey, hey, tonight we're going to get together and we're going to we're gonna breathe some air. Oh, dude, I breathe too much air, dude. <laughs> Just a cool idea. Hollywood, call me up. I can make you a million dollars. It will cost 15 million to make and you will actually only make 900,000. But we're aiming for that Criterion release. I can't get up. I can't get up. My boys are going to die. I can't get up. Ochi was blocking the way. I had too much piss in him. Yep, that's what it was. Brain was swimming.
Yeah, I'm, I'm okay now. Uh, Seth Rogen got ruined for me. Not that I was ever the biggest Seth Rogen head, but he did get ruined for me because of uh, Vinny Vine Sauce. Is it Vinny? You know what? I don't know if it's Vinny Vine Sauce or Rocco Bodie. Had a Seth Rogen bit that ended with like, Oh, I'm so high. I'm smoking my own cum. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm smoking my cum. And um, I can't, anytime I think about Seth Rogen, I think about that. So I'm there like watching the Mario movie in a theater packed with kids. Thinking about the Smith, Seth Rogen smokes his own cum bit. And it's like, I, I hate this movie. I hate this goddamn Mario movie. <laughs> Just like normal thoughts to have at the Mario movie. Seth Rogen smoking his own cum. That might be a you issue. Anyone else have this problem? Anyone else can't stop thinking about Seth Rogen smoking his own cum? Just me. <laughs> that was an actual SNL bit. No, it wasn't. I'm gonna look up. Seth Rogen smoking his own cum. <laughs> uh, r slash trees. I dab wax mixed with my own. Se okay. I think we should let, um, I think if you smoke weed, no more social media for you today. Sorry, just, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I like to, uh, I like to partake in some grass here or then, but, um, at a certain point, I gotta go back to that post, don't I? You, you know, you ever read an article? You ever, you ever see an article that you know, like, you're gonna regret reading, but the headline is so inflammatory that you're like, I, I have to read this. Uh, I was having an Adderall-fueled night of masturbating and accidentally came on my uncovered wax sitting on the table beside me and decided to smoke it anyway to go to sleep later. I can't even describe the taste in words, but it gave me a lung infection or something. I never went to the doctor because I didn't want to tell anyone and I would randomly vomit for the next few days. Uh, I think this is a bit... I think this person's doing a bit. I think this person's do all of their posts. I dab my own semen. I dab mix wax mixed with semen. I dab wax mixed with my own semen. I smoke my own semen while high on Adderall. How many times did this guy do this? <laughs> I dab my own semen after masturbating all night. I accidentally smoked my own semen. I smoked my own semen while in... <laughs> How many... <laughs> this person's doing a bit. This person's just trying to get some Reddit karma. I don't trust that shit. Lyndon B. Johnson, if he was alive today. <laughs> I'd believe it.
reminds me of those posts like I came in the towels and now my mother is pregnant. Is it possible it's my fault? Yeah, it's um again, it's one of those like let me get let me get some easy Reddit karma shit. Let me let me farm some uh some shock uh you know shock posting. The only, the only, like, shock post that I, I, I want to believe is, is the guy on 4chan, uh, who, what was this thing? Uh, it was like, hey, guys, is it possible to get an STD from chicken? Um, I was, uh, making dinner the other day, and, um... Uh, funny, uh, accident, uh, wasn't wearing pants, and whoops, accidentally dropped the chicken, and it lightly brushed with my penile. Uh, now it is, uh, looks like it's infected and hurts. Um, <laughs> anyone know what's going on there? And people are just like, you fucked the chicken. <laughs> That's the only one of those that I'll believe, just because it's a guy on 4chan. <laughs> What is happening? I I can't I am scared. I'm scared and I'm mashing every button on my controller. You guys got my hopes up. You made me think that Hark was working. Oh wait, this is the guy I gotta hit in the eyes, right? Did I lose okay, hold on, rewind it. You guys, you guys made me think that Hark was finally working. I got really excited there. We just harking, just harking with the boys. There we go. All right. What do I need? What if we do that? What if we freeze? Don't eat them. What did I just tell you? What did I just say to you? Everyone come here. Everyone come here. Oh my god, the ice pigman! He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Okay, freeze his ass. That was easy. Oh, that was easy. Hey, I did it. Gang, he's good for good footage. What? Pinuco. TV director. Oh, dude, we got the entire TV crew. Okay. I, <laughs> we've been playing Pikmin for like three hours. Well, two, two and a half hours. I feel like we've made less progress tonight than like last week when I played it for 50 minutes because I've just been doing the dungeons and they've been, they've been long dungeons, but you know what? You do them and then you never have to do them again. 
Uh, if I elaborate now, do you promise to fully commit to weeping? I don't promise to fully commit to anything. But I'll hear you out. I'll hear your proposal. I don't, I don't, the only thing I commit to is, um, a safe and, uh, clean, uh, uh, national park service. Thank you. I've never even been to a national park. Do national parks get good Wi-Fi? No. Okay. I would stream from a national park. That would be annoying. <laughs> uh, I have a fetish for humorous below. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Below average height? Whoa, 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 whoa. Then you've come to the wrong stream. You're mashing your potatoes to the wrong streamer. I'm 6'4", thank you. Boy. Stand up? You want me to prove that I'm 6'4"? How do I prove to you that I'm 6'4"? I don't have a tape measure. I'm not showing you my driver's license. Let Easy E cruise down the street on your shoulders. I get that one because I saw the Straight Outta Compton movie. I get that one. Compared to your... How the hell do you guys... What the hell? <laughs> what are you guys downloading all my information? What is going on? <laughs> Wait, do you guys have my social security number? Post it. <laughs> what do you even do if someone steals your social security number? Who, who, like, who do you even report that to? you get a new number? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Damn, we're getting big money. Large shmoney. They become you? Oh, hey, remember when I said we weren't making much progress today? Whoops. I guess I just felt like I was in that dungeon for years. Listen, no one wants to be me. 
No one wants my social security number because no one wants to be me. Imagine waking up every day. You're 6'5". You're too tall for your bed. You're too tall for your car. You go to your job. Where all day people call you tall boy. People buy Arizona iced teas and go, oh, tall boy. Getting a tall boy from the tall boy. It's a nightmare. Every day I weep. My knees almost touch my steering wheel. It's fucked up. If we hit... Guys, if we hit 10 subscribers, I'll finally be able to fund the surgery to get shorter. If we get 10 subscribers, I'll finally be able... We're going to take a foot off of my height. And I'm finally going to be able to live life as a short man. Yeah, and I'll give my height to Kirby. Finally, I'll be able to be short. <laughs> My life stream. Make up a call. Is that guy's name Chant? Is that you? <laughs> oh, for, for <laughs> uh, I have seen Kirby IRL four for three. You know, he doesn't look it. He looks much shorter. I I placed Kirby at about a three eight three nine. The Ultra Mega Rush. Love to be 3-8. I don't know if you would. Ochi are ready? Ready for what? Ultimate secrets have been passed down in my family for generations. What? Infinite Rush? Oh. That'd be pretty nice. Just full on fucking sprinting ever. Okay. Are there even eight more people to save though? Image of Kirby real. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. It, listen, he's got the big beard. We'll do one. Yeah, we'll do one more day. What did anyone see? What time I started Pikmin for? 
I promised you three hours of Pikmin 4. I don't, How long was my intro? Like 10 minutes? I should have started a alarm. I don't believe it was ten minutes. Hey, you may yeah. Hey, you think about that. You missed the intro. Think about that. When has that ever happened? The intro was half an hour? Was it really? I thought it was way shorter than that. I tried to keep that shit brisk. Hold on, can I watch? I can watch my own VOD. Can I? Watch. Okay. Oh my god, I can watch my own VOD. people to save, though? Okay, alright, chat. We're gonna go to the past. We're gonna factually Make check this, this as out. quick as possible. Okay, I started intro... I had my... Uh, uh, five and a half minutes in, I started the intro. Fifteen. Twenty-five I was playing Pikmin. What about a twenty? Uh you know what? I'll give you I'll give you this one for free. I did start Pikmin before this, but I did do this the char uh, the um Grand Theft Auto six bit. So I will give you that we were after the Grand Theft Auto 6 bit. They would have hated seeing you like this. So 15 minutes. The intro was like 15 minutes. So fi like 15 minutes. 253 minus 15. What's two, what's two hours and fifty three minutes minus fifteen minutes? Uh, two two uh, two hours fifty three. Take the someone else do that math, please. I'm glad you do erotic. No, <laughs> you guys you guys gotta get on the uptake with this. Uh, whose stream do you think you're coming to? <laughs> That thing, that thing's got DMCA music. Of course I'm going to fuck her around it. <laughs> What's two hours, 53 minutes minus uh, 15 minutes. I actually can't check the discord. I forgot to talk about this. Um, every single uh, uh, pro app. Jesus. Every platform I've tried to open discord on um, since like 4 p.m. today doesn't work. It just gets stuck loading. I am locked out of my own Discord server. <laughs> you have the mobile app? Yep, it doesn't work on mobile. It doesn't work on mobile. It doesn't work on my PC. It might work on my laptop. But yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm like locked out of everything. Or I'm like, I'm like, it's just stuck loading. I don't know why. So, um, please, please, please don't be a shitter in the Discord. Well, Kirby will moderate it. We got Kirby. Finally, we're free. <gasps> gonna get back into the fucking Discord server. It's just gonna be um, uh, Ice Spice fans. Community meetup. You guys are all gonna be in there posting your... Um, your favorite... Uh, um, Death Grips track. Now, Kir I don't think I, I've given Kirby the power to change the server on that level. I thought about it at one point. Um, Pelamoon has that power. So you'll you'll have to convince Pelamoon to do it. 
I was going to give Kirby that power, and then I'm like, well, but one day I could wake up and it could be, um, uh, uh, there could be a pinned poll in the Discord. Who would win the, um, oiled up twerk off? And I don't want that. Go, yeah, go to, hey, go to the Discord, post an Ice Spice GIF, you know, get it all out of your system. I can't do anything about it. Sad you think so low of me. Do you want that kind of... I can give you that power. As long... But you have to take an oath. You have to swear that you won't fuck her around with that stuff. Unless I ask you to. You're usually good about that, though. I think there's only one time that you fuckered the stream title. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I I think I I set up I set up the stream title like I wanted it. And then you changed it to like this guy's bad at gaming or something. And I was just like, don't don't fuck her the stream title, please. If you want that power, I'll give you that power when I can get back into Discord. They banned me for having too many kittens. <laughs> I've never DM'd someone on Discord that I didn't know. I've never gone to Discord and been like, I will meet people. This is how I will meet people. Um, if I'm DMing on Discord, it's people I know. Give me administrator privilege. <laughs> Let me um, be able to... Uh, hello, streamer. Can I have admin privileges on your PC? Um, only I can approve what programs you can use. I'm telling you, with the sim stream coming Friday, that's going to be... You're going to fucking hate that job. We'll talk about that on Friday. The the shit I, I have to do to get the Sims 3 running um, in the way I have it running is um, baffling. But we'll talk about Friday. Come to the stream Friday. You're going to... You're going to hear some technical fuckery... Um, that I was only able to figure out thanks to, like, 13-year-old uh, forum posts. Make me owner. <laughs> All right, you want to own the funny little guy brand? You want to own the funny little guy Discord? Make, uh, I want to hear a compelling corporate plan. I want to hear your five-year plan for the funny little guy brand. Go ahead. At the most popular Discord server this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> well, that's what I've always wanted. I've always wanted my Discord server to be popular. Lord knows the um, the easiest way to do funny is um, with a Discord server. Oh, right, we were doing this. I'm excited for tomorrow, chat. I'm gonna, um... My brother works at, um... Dining Hall. Or the nice college here. I live in a college town. Um, and so they're doing their Christmas dinner 
or family. So uh, you come in before the students show up, and it's a whole fucking buffet of d this like d great ass food. Um, and so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. That's why I'm probably gonna be a little late to stream. I can't wait for that, man. Last year I got this a hunk of like I think it was like roast beef, and it was amazing. So, um, if you like hearing me talk about food, tomorrow's going to be the stream for you. You're going to like tomorrow's stream. And if you hate hearing me talk about food, uh, well, how are you watching the stream? Why do you, why do you come here? It's my, um, I like, part of the reason I like doing it is I like to think, um, like to think that I'm stealing, um, uh, student tuition. I like to think that I'm getting my own little cut of the student tuition. So it's someone, like, I, I, I imagine in my head, like, someone who, you know, they're trying to go to college so that they can get a good career, you know, get, get their family out of poverty. Um, you know, they've taken out $40,000 in student loans just to try and get ahead in life. And then I show up. And I eat so much roast beef that the school goes bankrupt. <laughs> that's my little, um, that's my little RP scenario. <laughs> the school goes bankrupt and raises tuition for the next semester. So the person has to take out another $15,000 student loan. You should not do that. You should stop doing that. You should stop doing that. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. The only thing, though, that's gonna suck about tomorrow is that I might have to park in a parking garage, and I've... I, honestly, I've never done it before. I know it's probably not that bad. But I've never done it before, so I'm a little bit, like, nervous about it. If I go downtown, I just, like, I take public transport. So I've never had to, um... I've never had to, like, navigate the six stories and everything. What's this big rock is um conspicuous. Just follow lines, they are nerve wracking. Yeah, they're definitely um I'm not looking forward to it. Don't park next to a pillar. I plan on straight up. Um this is how I I I'm I'm a nervous parker. Parker parkering is the one thing that like Always makes me a little nervous. Even if it's a place I've been to a hundred times. So I always, if I'm like going grocery shopping, I park in the back of the lot. Because like no one else is parking out there and um, I can walk. I would rather just walk a little bit extra than worry about other people's cars or whatever. So my plan for this parking garage, if I need to use it, which I might not need to, but if I need to use it, um, I'm just going to go to the top of the parking garage. I'm just going to park at the top of the parking garage. I feel like that's, that's the place with the least amount of people, right?
I'll just follow the lines up and then I'll park at the top of the parking garage. Am I supposed to like smash into this rock? No, I, I think this rock really is just nothing. Okay. Why do I hear screaming? Yes, keep smashing. Okay. Ochi's head is about to be fucking concave after this. Ochi's gonna have a brain like... I was going to say Chris Benoit. <laughs> Why am I still doing this? <laughs> more times <laughs> uh what did we even accomplish on this day i think i got an orange that was pretty cool hold on let's see what this situation is thank you auto ochi Atochi. Atochi sounds like uh, Ochi's car transformation. Oh, this is the um, this is the guy. This is the bar, a gold that I need a thousand pink men for. Okay. Um, is there any other just like random? Yeah, there's a little bit more random treasure. I like doing this. It reminds me of making my horse auto go, go in Red Dead Redemption 2. I would just do that and just sit there and smile. Uh, since you can't see the Discord, I will give you the good Fortnite news. Thank you. But we don't even have to talk about it. Just want you to know the challenges show that augments are coming back soon. That's good. It's good. I know in the locker, or maybe it's in the locker room. I don't know. There is a thing still for augments, and I was like, well, I would Can I use them? Can I please use them? Um, I, I think I ended up on the wrong side of this. Where is... There's a treasure. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, probably that one, genius. Oh, fuck. I need to bring the... Uh... Shit, 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 shit. Move the base. Yeah, where'd those two little fellers go? Where'd those two little fellers? Uh, two fellers, where are you? I see them, I see them, I see them. say space travel. Oh, okay. I hope you guys are, I hope you guys are having a great time in the Discord with me not being able to get there. I hope you guys are posting ice spices and 
Uh, you, you guys are posting JPEG Mafia, um, uh, Nightcore remixes, and, um, you're doing Discord movie nights of, uh, um, uh, Morbius. You're the, you made a new text channel called Star Trek Sucks, and you're, you're going through every episode and going, boring, measure of a man, more like, um, measure of how long I'm gonna take a nap. Uh, best of both worlds, more like the worst of this show. Remember when Twitch had friend lists? Yes. They were kind of worthless, but I did like it. I liked seeing what my friends were watching. Yeah, exactly. Like that's, I liked them for that. It was also easier to find your friends when they were streaming because of it. Um, you didn't have to, like, scroll all the way down to see that they are, like, streaming with, like, you know, three or four people. You could just see that they they were the top of your friends list, and so you could just easily hop on. It was easier to know when your friends were streaming. Do all your memories involve rescue pups? I don't think so. I have this one memory from my childhood that's about a completely different type of animal. My class took a field trip to the mountains. I got lost somehow. These wild animals with dark sparkling eyes surrounded me. I thought I was done for. Until, out of the bushes jumped a rescue pup at the time. She saved me that day. Huh. Hold on. Isn't that still a memory of a rescue pup? Got caught watching DSP so many times. <laughs> uh, you know what? At, like at that point, you gotta make your you gotta make a burner account. You gotta make an alt account just to watch DSP. Discord shows that I'm listening to all the time. See, I like that Spotify has that. Uh, Spotify on, like, desktop has that. And I've always liked that. I Honestly, I wish more things were like that. I wish more things were like, oh, this is what your friends are doing. Like, Discord has for, like, playing and, and listening to some stuff. But when you do a status message, or whatever it is, it covers that up on Discord. So, like... You don't really know what I'm up to because mine all the time says, like, uh, if I'm not streaming, I'm thinking about streaming, which is, you know, my true status at all times, honestly. But um, I don't know. I like that stuff. I like seeing what my friends are up to. I like looking at my Steam friends list and seeing what my friends are playing. Um, There's one time where I did catch one of my friends playing like Honey Pop. I was like, "What? Uh, hey, what are you? Uh, what are you doing there?" And they like went offline. I was like, "Oh, hog." Okay. <laughs> I want everyone to know I'm playing the absolute worst games ever. Yeah, exactly. Like Pikmin Four. Before the stream ends, can you tell me any rumors going around town? I can tell you a couple. I can tell you a couple. All right, let me hit you with a rumor. This is the this is the biggest one. This is the biggest rumor I know. I heard. Didn't hear this from me. I heard. Uh, Tom Hanks didn't didn't even like working with the volleyball Wilson uh, a sordid relationship 
passionate, but ended in turmoil. So in that movie, when Tom Hanks goes, Wilson, I'm sorry. That was real. That was, they captured that and they said, Tom, that wasn't even in the script. Mr. Hanks, um, in the script, you're so supposed to say, um, you're supposed to save Wilson. Uh, and he said, well, what's, he said, well, uh, what's a better movie? They said, yeah. And they let that volleyball drift out to see real. Wilson died that day. Who came back, though? Who came back? I'm just saying. One ball went to sea, a different one came back. Terminal mid... Is that the one where he's, like, doing an accent? Is that the one where he's, like, pretending to be, like, Russian or something? And he's like... I I love American cheeseburgers. McDonald's. I'm sorry. Yeah, that movie's not good. I always get the beginning of Castaway confused with that because he's like running around in the airport. Same with um, isn't it Philadelphia? He's like in an airport. Wasn't he playing an Iranian man? Was he? <laughs> it's been uh it's been like a decade since I've seen that movie. And it's Tom Hanks, so it's just like generic white guy to me, but I remember he's doing an accent. And he like he's like trying to order a uh like a Big Mac, but doesn't speak English. And I was like, what is this? Okay. Okay, but flip side of that, you know what he's great in? Catch me if you can. He's great in that movie. I like when when uh, they're like sitting there at the diner, and he's like, "Yeah, so this guy, uh, his name's uh, Barry Allen. He signed checks as Barry Allen." Uh, and then the one guy is like, "Oh, comic books. Yeah, it's the Flash," and he's like. It's the what? Which I imagine is um, most people's reaction to the Flash existing. They get told the speed force. They go. It's the what? Uh, favorite Tom. Hey, you know what? I, I, I feel like I've talked about this before. Tom Hanks has left an indelible mark on me. And if you watch these streams, he's left a mark on you because of it through me. Um, you know, I start these streams with howdy, 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 which wasn't. That was just, I don't know, you know, hello isn't something I say. Howdy, I say. Um, and I didn't realize until like a year or two after saying it at the start of every stream. It's from Toy Story. That's from when they're in the toy box and the shark comes up with the cowboy hat and he goes, hey, look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, that's a Toy Story reference. And I never realized that until literally I watched Toy Story for the first time in years, like last year. I was like, oh, so, I'm a Disney adult. I love Disney. Uh, my favorite Disney character, Peppino. Hey, I say, I say, uh, howdy, 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 what's happening, what's happening, not what's hippening. Um, all right, let's end this with a, um, here we, this is a Tom Hanks tribute. Uh, I'm going to end the stream now, by the way. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I gave you your three hours of Pikmin, and I'm happy I did, and we'll do more. We're getting real close now. We're about 50% done. Uh, with, um, that last level, I had to think about what I was trying to say. Once we finish that last level, 
Um, then we're going to do... Actually, next stream, we might do some night expedition. I don't know. But we are going to do... We're going to finish this, and then we're going to do um, all the Olimar stuff. And then we're done. And I'm never going to play this shit-ass game. No, this is a great game. But we are, we are coming up close to the end. Ugh. Can we finish it before the year's out? Probably not. But I think we're for sure going to finish it in January. So we need some music. I'm going to sue two hours, 48 minutes. It was three hours. It was three hours. See, it, I know it was three hours because um, I, I said so. Are you stopping the timer every time that I talk? When I go into this, did you stop the timer? Because this counts. Well, this doesn't count. This is the end of the stream. Every time you take a break. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. You had a factor. That pee breaks are part of it. Same thing with, with intros are part of the whole stream time. Pee breaks are part of the gameplay. <laughs> you said three hours of gameplay? Yeah, but I didn't say what game. Well, I did. I said Pikmin. But hey, hey who's to say I wasn't playing a little... Uh, who's to say I wasn't plucking a couple Pikmin of my own? <laughs> we're getting too... Uh, we're getting too deep in this shit again. I gotta roll this back again. We had this conversation already. I gotta roll this back again. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta start, uh, I gotta stop aiming at cum jokes again. We gotta, <laughs> I gotta get back on track. Chad, that's the stream. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Um, tomorrow, I think pretty good chance of stream. But like I said, it'll probably be closer to six. If not after six, we'll do Mario Wonder. Um, we're getting close to finishing that game. That game, I do think I could beat before the end of the year if I sit down and give it some actual time. So we're going to try and do that tomorrow. Give it some real time. Um, and Thursday's Half-Life, which we're getting close to beating. And then Friday is a stream. You're, you're going to want to catch that one. Uh, Friday is Simmus. We're going to start Mary Simmus. Which is um, a modded Sims 3 where um, we'll be doing Santa Claus and maybe a friend or two. And um, let's say bringing Christmas joy. Let's say bringing Christmas cheer. Maybe not to the people in that Sims town or to the Sims themselves, but to us, the gods of creation. Now I'm out of here. We're gonna end with the Tom Hanks tribute. Um, this is my this is kind of my favorite. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's. This is my favorite. Uh, Tom Hanks scene. We're gonna watch it. Pop your popcorn. Sit back. We're gonna watch my favorite Tom Hanks scene right now. Here it is. Kind of a classic. Uh, Classic uh, Tom Hanks moment. Check it out. You're going to love this. This is, um, I don't remember what movie this is from, but this is an all-time uh, classic Tom Hanks movie. Check it out. That's not it. That's not it. That's Pikmin 4. That's not it. Start your timer again, Chris. This counts. This go put this on the timer. This counts. <laughs> uh, all right. Here it is. Classic uh, Tom Hanks uh, 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 movie. Check it out. How do I turn this off? Thank you. Here it is. Rated M for Mature. There's Tom. Hey! Get out of there! Uncle Tony? You f 
kidding me? Pulling a stunt like that on this street? It was just sitting there. What do you care? Look at you, a street punk. Snatching purses from old lady. Christ, the was here to see this. Gandolfini oh, yeah, yeah. sounds so anyway, fucking detached. Sorry, though. Tom Hanks to sounds so fucking detached in this. He does not give it. Maybe he was just there a bad voice actor. I don't know. He, he sucks like this. in this. <laughs> He'd be as pushed as me. I'm sorry, Tony. It's, it's got to be the writing. Something. You should have come to me. Go home. Go acting like a delinquent and maybe we can find something for you to do. No kidding? You do that? I go out the back way. Now. Forget the f***ing purse, you moron. Go! And that, uh, and that was Tom Hanks. Can you, can you believe that came out in 2006? Only on the PS2. Ugly as sin. Plays like shit. And get ready, because next year I'm gonna do a full playthrough of it. Good night! I'm not joking. Good night!